Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933 here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the upcoming July 2010 CCNP track changes, and also take a look at how you can use these changes to your advantage and plan and succeed now on the NP. Also, I know, of course, that real life does intrude when you're working on a multi-exam track, sometimes a one-exam track, and believe me, I've been there. I'm not just an instructor, I am a student. I'm still recertifying and getting new certifications all the time. So I know that real life does intrude, and just in case it intrudes on you during your NP exams, there are some exams I would take first in this track, and we'll talk about what the cutover is going to be, how Cisco is going to handle that. Cisco has given us plenty of time to adapt to these changes, but I do want to mention with my fully downloadable CCNP study packages available from my website, if for any reason you do not pass the CCNP exam you're studying for by July 31st, and again, I know that means any reason because I know stuff happens, and I'll say stuff, uh, you will receive a fully downloadable study package for any of the new exams. So you're 100% covered when the exam cuts over. I do want to mention, please note this offer is valid only on my NP study packages and on no video course bearing my name, likeness, or voice. Having said that, let's talk about some tips here first before we get to what the cutover plans are. The first tip, and I say this only half jokingly, is do not panic. I know from experience, having gotten my NP in the middle of a changeover, and also, of course, when I was studying for the CCIE, there were massive changes to that when I was in the middle of studying. So, you know, there's always some anxiety with that. I'm not saying don't feel any anxiety, but don't let it rule your mind. These changes are actually pretty simple, and you've got plenty of time to use them to your best advantages. What I would practically beg you to do is to not allow these changes to delay your studies and don't let it derail your momentum. I'm a big believer in getting your CCNP. I think it really gives you that advanced routing and switching foundation to really succeed in your career. And you really want to keep that study momentum and your success momentum up. Don't fall for the trap of saying, well, you know, I'll just wait six months, you know, et cetera, or I'll wait a couple of months. Because people who do that tend not to come back. I've seen it time and time again. So let's talk about how we can be aggressive here and get this CCNP taken care of. The current exam track as of January 2010, so the one we've had for a couple of years now, is the BSCI, which is basically advanced routing. BCMSN, basically advanced switching, uh, the ISCW exams, and the ONT exam. There is also a composite exam that encompasses the BSCI and BCMSN. As an aside, I've always thought the BSCI had more than enough material to, for an exam, so I truly salute you. I, I admire those of you who have taken that composite exam and passed it because that is a lot of material. The next CCNP track the names are very straightforward, believe it or not. Uh, no initials here, just CCNP routing, CCNP switching, and CCNP troubleshooting. So logic dictates that if we have a four exam track that we're working on now, and we're heading for a three exam track, uh, maybe not everything's carrying over. So we need to take into account now what current exams will carry over to the new track. There will be a composite as well for that routing and switching exam. The cutover chart is this. The BSCI exam will equal the CCNP routing exam on the new track. The BCMSN exam will equal the CCNP switching exam on the new track. The current composite exam will equal the routing and switching exam on the new track or the new composite exam. Now ISCW and ONT do not carry over to the new track. So we've got to take that into account now. All candidates who finish their CCNP after that July 31st deadline will have to take the new troubleshooting exam. So we need to plan and keep that in mind now. Now you can certainly take the ISCW and ONT exams before July 31st, but they don't carry over. And, you know, real life intrudes, as I always say that, you know, and I can vouch for that in 2009, you know, um, you plan one thing, but then real life intrudes. So just in case you're just getting started on your NP or you're studying for one of the exams, you're, you're really best served by taking the BSCI and the BCMSN first, just in case real life intrudes. Could just be summer vacation because the cutover is right in the middle of summer. Uh, something else can happen in the family, you never know. So get that BSCI and BCMSN 
taken care of first because again those are going to carry over your composite exam will count it will carry over and act as the composite on the new track but again that ISCW and ONT do not carry over to the new track just want to give you one tip here one more tip and I've seen this again with exam changes with the NA and with the NP and actually with the CCI written exam do not wait until the last minute to register for your exam. A lot of you know that I'm a big believer in registering now when you start studying for an exam because it does focus the mind. Having said that, I've seen this with exam changes with Microsoft, Cisco, and other vendors. Those seats fill up in July when there's a big change like this. And what happens is, and I've seen it before, I knew a buddy who actually had to drive 300 miles to a testing center that had an open seat because he waited too long. He waited till like mid-month and the exam was cutting over at the end of the month and he couldn't get a local seat. And the thing is, there are fewer companies offering Cisco exams now, as you probably know, than there were four years ago. They've really cut down on the number of vendors. So visit, you know, view.com, I believe it is, or whatever site you need to go to to register for your exam in your country. And don't wait until the last minute because those seats are going to fill up. Again, absolutely nothing to fear here. Cisco, as always, has given us plenty of time to adapt to the changes. You have plenty of time to take the, actually all four exams, depending on when you watch this video, uh, by the end of July. And also, again, if you think you might not finish the track in time, or even if you think you will, get that BSCI and BCMSN taken care of first, because those are the ones that cut over. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, wishing you all the best in your CCNP pursuit.